The many animals that inhabit the earth show an almost endless variety in size, shape, internal and external structure and habits. While over 1 million species are now recognized and new ones are being constantly discovered, animals range in size from the microscopic protozoans to the mighty blue whale, which may reach a length of 30 meters and a weight of over 80 metric tons. Some animals, such as the deer fly and the cheetah, can move with great speed. Some, such as the sleuth and the snail, move slowly. Some, including the flower-like sea, anemone, and the coral become permanently fixed to one place. Certain animals, like the weasel among the vertebrates and the praying mantis among the insects, are predators eating other animals. Others, like deer, cattle, and Japanese beetles, live on vegetation. It's still others, hyenas, jackals, and vultures, for example, are scavengers feasting on carcasses. The vastly different forms of the animal's life are all made up largely of protoplasm, a substance in which the physical and chemical processes of life take place. Protoplasm is a very complicated mixture of various materials and is contained in one or more basic units called cells. Generally speaking, animal cells are microscopic in size, but there are exceptions. The nerve cells of the large animals, including men, may be almost a meter in length. The yolk of the birth egg is a single cell. It may be over 8 centimeters in diameter. In the case of the ostrich, the largest of all birds, the animal cell is bounded by very thin membranes called the plasma membranes. Outside this, there may be a flexible envelope, the pellicle. The protoplasm within the plasma membranes always contains a nucleus or core, which may be at the center or at the one end of the cell. Some cells have two or more nuclei, and some mature cells lose their nuclei. Within the nucleus is a fine network, the chromatin. It carries the unit called genes that determine the heredity of the animal. In the protoplasm outside the nucleus of the cell, there are various bodies that play an important part in life processes. Certain microscopic animals, such as the amoeba and the paramecium, consist of only one cell. Most animals, however, are multicellular or many cell. In the more highly organized varieties, there are millions upon millions of cells grouped together to form tissues. In each tissue, the cells are more or less alike and perform the same functions. There are epithelial tissues that cover the outside of the body and various inner parts. Connective tissues bind together other tissues and help support the body. Muscular tissues bring about movement as they contract or lengthen. Nervous tissues transmit stimuli. Tissues in turn are combined in larger units known as organs, which perform certain definite tasks. The organ called the heart serves as a pump and keeps the blood circulating. The brain acts as a nerve center receiving messages from the outside world and sending messages to different parts of the body. The lungs serve to draw in and exhale air in the process of respiration. The liver filters blood, secretes bile, and stores the sugar called glucose. Thanks for watching my videos. I hope you learned a lot of things about the animals. Don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Thanks.